costs in a variety of ways. So to start with, whenever you work with LabVIEW, you have to start getting used to two different so-called panels that LabVIEW has available to you. The first one is this one here called the front panel, one with all the grids on it. And this is typically like the user interface or the control panel or the front panel, like an instrument or a device that has a bunch of knobs and buttons and visuals on it. stuff. This is often the, the, the visual display you'll see to monitor how your program is doing or what it's doing. Think of it like the output screen of a program. The block diagram over here is the second sort of half of LabVIEW programming, and that's the part that refers to actually the logic or the, the core programming that's going on, if statements, setting up variables, that kind of thing. So here are your visuals here in the front panel. This is your LabVIEW code here in the block diagram. And what you'll notice is that as you click on each one, a different little menu palette pops up down here. So for instance, in the front panel, since that's the visual, the part the user's gonna interact with, you see a lot of things that involve like buttons and indicators and things like that. So there's some, um, uh, like a thermometer to say how, uh, how large a value would be there. And there's a bunch of numerical indicators that you can tell it what a, tell the user what number is coming in or what it happens to look like. And then when you come over here to the block diagram, you see a much different palette over here. You see things like programming and IO stands for in input, output, and things like, for instance, in programming over here, there's a whole area for structures right here. Here's a for loop, here's a while loop, here's a case structure, and some things you might expect uh, to make the logic of your program flow. We'll use this one here, which is mathematics down here as we add some numbers together, but right here under mathematics, there's a bunch of things for adding and subtracting and multiplying and dividing numbers and that sort of thing. So that's where we go in the programming code. So then let's just go ahead and get started then. Let's write a LabVIEW program that'll add two numbers together. So the first thing I'll do is I'll want some numeric indicators here that allow me to set what two numbers I want to add. So I'll just go down here and I'll grab something called a numeric control and I'll just sort of drag it into the main front panel display and I'll change my uh, title of it to num1 indicating number one like that. And so we notice two things happen. One, and I have, I have my, my visual indicator up here, which is actually what the number is going to be. And if I go over here into the programming side, I actually see another little icon, which refers to the program element that refers to the number that might be inside this box right here. So this is the visual box I'll interact with. This will be the variable that I'll carry the value that I've put into this box over here. So that's one number right there. Here's another number right here, and I'll call this num2. So see, we have another, another pair that's popped up here. So on the one hand over here, I have two visual indicators for the numbers. Over here, I have the two icons I can use to write my program with. So there's my two numbers right there. And let's put one more indicator in here, this one right here, which will be my result. So when I add two numbers together, I want to be able to put in the numbers and say what the result is going to be. So notice that I did drag a slightly different element over here. This is numerical control. That allows me to control what number's in the box so I can actually set what number I want. This one over here is just a numeric indicator. It doesn't have any controls on it, but allows me, if I have a number to present to the user, just allows me to show them what it is. And that's why I like my result to be just an indicator of the result. So over here, this is sort of what my front panel looked like. I'm pretty much done with that, but now I just want to put my program logic in here to take this number and this number and add it together. So when I click back over into here, uh, I can program now, I'll go into the mathematics and drag the addition icon in here like this. And now here's what LabVIEW is absolutely famous for, this wiring that we do now. So what I want to do, I want to take num1 and see how my icons change into a little spool of wire. And I want to put it right into there, indicating that one of the numbers I want to add comes from num1 over here. You know, one of the other numbers I want to add comes from num2. And of course, the result here, I want to wire right into my result indicator. So this is the programming side here that has all the variables. Num1 plus num2 will go into result. And over here, I have my front panel that the user will interact with, and I can see what my results are going to be. So actually, the program is done now. And let's go ahead and run it. And because I don't have any looping structures in here or anything to keep the program running itself, Normally, I could just press this button to run the code, but it'll run through very quickly and just end. See, it's already run and end, and I can see that 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. If I change this number right here to something like 5 and hit that run button again, I see 5 plus 0 is equal to 5. But if I want to keep the program running over and over again, I can hit this button here, which sort of looks like a loop. The two errors form a loop there, and it's how I run continuously. So if I do that, then the program keeps running. And any time I change a number over here, here's a 10, and I'm hitting the tab key to activate the, uh, the value I put in there. There's a 15. If I change that to negative 5, minus 5 plus 10 is 5. So the, the program does seem to be working OK. So it does seem to be adding numbers together. And if I want to stop the program, I just hit the stop icon up here. So there's a couple other things. You can start having a bit of fun with LabVIEW now because it has so many indicators and possibilities for how things can be, uh, can ha how things can be manipulated uh, in the program. So let me just run it one more time and notice that these are numerical indicators here. 
or these aren't the indicators, these are the controls here. And if I just hit start hitting on these little arrows here, see I can control what number goes in and the result is updated automatically there because I am adding. But if I don't like those, I can choose just about anything from the palette here. So suppose I wanted to do a, a vertical slider. So what I'll do, I, I've stopped the program from running, I'll go ahead and just delete this right here and pull out this numerical slider and just pull that in. So see it's a much more graphical visual element right there. I'll still call it num1 because it'll be one of my numbers for the addition. And notice my icon over here has changed as well. So it's gone from the uh, a numerical control to a slider right here. Uh, but when I deleted this one here, I actually broke some of the logic of my program. So you see this broken wire right here. And so commonly what you can do to get rid of these broken wires, you can hit control B on Windows or command B on the Macintosh just to remove all broken wires to clean up a bit. But now I still need to go in here and wire this numerical indicator back into the addition to complete the logic of my program. So if I do that now, I can run the program continuously again. And what it's going to do now is I have a more graphical element. So see, I can just grab, change this slider up or down to set one of the numbers I want to use in my addition. And this one here is the same old control as before. But in either case, I still do see my addition happening right here. So one last thing we'll do before we end this tutorial then is we can also make more of a visual on the output right there. That's what some of these things are for. Like for instance, one of my favorites is this one called a thermometer here. Now it's not, it doesn't strictly measure temperature. It just sort of gives you a, a red thermometer looking graph here, which is uh, corresponds to a number that you wire into it. So I'll just take this result here. I'll go and leave it in this numerical indicator, but I can just sort of add an additional wire right here and I'll just pipe it right into my result as well. So I'm just saying the result of the addition put it into the result indicator and into this thermometer thing. So if I run it like this here, you can see that the thermometer, the red thermometer there sort of rises and falls as it reflects the addition of these two numbers right here. The scale might be a little coarse on here, but that's no problem. All you have to do is go in here and double click on the scale there and let's just change this maybe to a 15, something like that. So the whole thing gets rescaled now. So if I run again and I start dragging around, see the thermometer now is sort of scaled better to the values my numbers would have, although it looks like maybe I could scale it even a little bit more. So that's some of the power of LabVIEW right there. You're free just to take any of these controls over here and change any visuals you want. There's just a whole bunch of different things you can choose from in here. There's a bunch of classic indicators in there and a bunch of more modern ones in here, but LabVIEW allows you to very quickly get a nice visual, um, visual application going. If I wanted to change my mathematical operation, for instance, from from addition to multiplication, very easily done right here. Maybe I'll just uh, maybe I'll just break this wire by clicking on it and deleting it there. So maybe I'll take the addition here, then I'll do something else. I'll take whatever I divide there and I'll just multiply it by another number here. So what I'll do is, we didn't mean to do that, let's get rid of some of these wires here. So I just dragged a multiplication in, in there just to show you how I can program a bit. And let me rearrange things, get rid of some broken wires. So what I'll do here is I'll take my addition that I get here and I'll run it into a multiplication right there. And then what I'll do is I'll go in here and I'll just put a constant in here. So maybe I'll do the, take the addition and multiply by two. So what I'll do then is I need to put, come out and get a constant out of here, which I believe is this value right here, numeric constant. So if I put a constant in here, it's a zero. It looks like it got automatically wired into the other node there of the multiplication icon. I'll go and change this to a two. So what this will do is take my two numbers, add them, then multiply by two. And that result I'll pipe out to the result numeric indicator again and to my thermometer just like before. So now if I run it here, I just have a slightly different um, uh, mathematical operation going on. So it'll be this number plus this number. So there's about uh, the addition of the two numbers there. Nine plus two is 11 times two is 22. So see, it looks like I am getting my proper numerical result in there. It looks like the thermometer would need to be rescaled to reflect some of this, something like that. Run it again. And there we go. So there's my result. So you see the visual indicator on the front panel, the programming and the block diagram, and that's the essence of LabVIEW.